And this is how you can make an advanced remove background command for Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I start to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get the source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On Discord, if you get the God or Custom Bot tier, you will get access to that source code. And over on YouTube here, if you get the Super God or Custom Bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the Custom Bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is of interest to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go ahead and get into the video. We can start off by going over to moderation or community. For me, I'm going to do community and we can go ahead and do remove bg.js. In here, we can do const and we're going to go ahead and get our slash command builder. We can also get our embed builder and we can get our attachment builder and then we can do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get that discord.js package. Then what we can go ahead and do is we do module.exports and we can open this up. We're going to get our data, which is going to be our new slash command builder and go ahead and set a name, which is is going to be remove bg then we can go ahead and say a description and we can go ahead and say remove uh, background from an image and we can go ahead and add an attachment option and then we can do option arrow function option dot set name this is going to be our image and then we can go ahead and set a description and we can go ahead and say the image you want to remove the bg of and we can go ahead and set required we're going to go ahead and make that true then we can go ahead and add a comma we're going to do async execute we can go ahead and get our interaction and we can go ahead and open this up in here we're going to go ahead and defer reply so we can do await interaction dot defer reply and we can go ahead and set informal to true then we can do const image equals interaction dot options dot get attachment and we can go ahead and get our image attachment just like that then we can get our response so we can do const response and we can do equals await and we can do fetch so we're going to be using the fetch we can also use node fetch if you'd like to require that and we can do https we can do forward slash forward slash we can go ahead and get api dot remove dot bg slash v1 and then we do dot zero slash remove bg so this is going to be the remove background api that we're going to be using for this so you're going to want to go ahead and copy this exact link so just go ahead and write that in so then we can go ahead and add a comma and we're going to go ahead and open this up right here we can do method and we can go ahead and get our post method and then we can go ahead and get our headers so we can do headers and we can go ahead and open this up we're going to go ahead and do x and we can do api dash key and we can go ahead and do a colon and now is where we're going to go ahead and get our api key so what we can go ahead and do is we can go over to this website the link will be in the description below and you're going to want to go ahead and create an account so you're going to go ahead and log in with google or whatever and then you can go ahead and create a new API key. So you're going to go ahead and give it a name, and then you can go ahead and create it. Now, keep in mind that you do have only 50 API calls, so you might have to create multiple accounts or just have this be an experiment for fun. Um, but once you go ahead and get that API key, go ahead and paste it in your code. For me, I'm only going to put it in after, so I don't have to blur anything out. Um, but just go ahead and put that in here in strings, just like that. We can do a comma, and we're going to go ahead and get content and type. And we can do a colon and we're going to go ahead and get application slash json. Then we can go ahead and add a comma here and we can come down here. We're going to go ahead and get our body, which is going to be json.stringify. And we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to go ahead and get our image URL, which is going to be our image.proxy URL. And we can go ahead and get our size, which is going to be auto. So it's going to have an auto size depending on what's best for that image. We can come out of this. We can do const array buffer equals await response dot array buffer. And then we can do const buffer equals buffer. And then we can do dot form and we can go in and get our array buffer. Then we can do const attachment and we can do equals new attachment builder. And we can go in and get our buffer. And then we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to get our name, which is going to be our remove bg.png. So that is going to be our remove background image. Then all we have to do is make our embeds. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder. And we're going to go ahead and start by setting a color. So we can do set color. For me, I'm going to do blurple. Then we can go ahead and set a title and we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to go ahead and get any emoji. I'll just do this one and we can go ahead and say removed your images background just like that then we can go ahead and set an image so we can do set image we can do attachment and we can do forward slash forward slash we can do our remove bg.png so we're going to go ahead and get that same attachment we had up there then all we have to do is send this so we can do await interaction dot edit reply and we can go ahead and get our embeds which is going to be our embed and we can also get our files which is going to be our attachment file and of course we can also go ahead and set informal to true as well so with that, we are actually done with this entire command. So we can go in and restart the bot and test this out. All right, so over on the Discord server, we can go in and test this out. So we can go in and get our remove BG command. And I'm going to go in and get a image that I think is going to work best for this. So we're going to go in and get the automate logo. 
Now, Automate is a Discord bot that I have made. It is a brand new project and it has everything automated. So if you'd like to get the bot on your servers, go ahead and click the link in the description below. So we can go ahead and remove the background of the Automate logo. And so we can go ahead and send it. It's gonna go ahead and think here. And then as you can see here, it's gonna go ahead and send and it's gonna go ahead and say, removed your image's background. It's gonna go ahead and have the image without the background. And it actually worked perfectly. So if I go ahead and upload that exact same file, you can see the difference here. It has a background and this one doesn't have a background. We can go ahead and try this again. So I guess we can go ahead and try the ModMail logo this time. So we can go ahead and upload ModMail. I believe it's gonna remove the black part of that logo. And as you can see, it's gonna go ahead and remove it. So now the black part of the logo is gone. So we can go ahead and try this one more time. So we can do remove BG. We can go ahead and upload an image. This time I'm gonna get the discord.js one. So I'm not sure how well this is gonna work. So we can go ahead and give it a try, and there it is. It actually works pretty well. It removed all the black part of the background and left the discord.js logo in the center. So that's a code, a remove background command for discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below, and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways, because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.